drums. I have hope you can hear me. I'm going to start at the very beginning, um, but not show you how to make the game or the story. This is not about that. This is just the game uh, steps I took to play that we should write down each time we play it this way in the beginning of this game, anyways. I'm trying to make basic game with steps. Probably can't hear me over the music, and I'm going to fix that in one moment here. So I gotta go to press the button. Let's go to do that. Okay, options. Audio, turn the music down. So for the gaming point, I'm gonna turn the music way down. I'm gonna show you the basic steps to start at the beginning of a game. This is my game. I'm called, I'm Gaming Grumps. Gaming Grumps Starter Guide is what I'm calling this. And I'm gonna leave everything else up, the music down, and I don't think the voices are gonna have any because it doesn't really apply, so I'll say apply. I'm gonna escape. You notice, yeah, it's weird, you have to click the mouse on everything. You can't really use your keyboard to do that. Okay, so go back to single player and I'll say continue because I'm gonna continue on a game. I've saved right here, but I'm hoping I can show you without too much issue of the steps I took to start playing the game. I feel a little less squishy now. Um, yeah, so you, you, you're gonna see I built this base right here. This is my steps on building the first time in the game. You can glitch this to build on here. I wouldn't do it because I had to literally put these here to stop from going up there. Um, and they can hit you the bugs through this thing somewhat. Some of the bugs can. Not all of them. The spider doesn't seem to be able to reach you. If you have an air bow, this works great. But to do that, you got to glitch the wall, the thing into this. And then you can start like a pad and build a little bit of a floor all the way out here. And you can actually build out here and walk on it and use it as a guide to nothing get up here. Which, uh, I don't see a spider or anything. But nothing get, get up here. I'm still working on lights all out here. I got them all done. But anyways, this has got nothing to do with my base. I'm just showing you. This is, I always build somewhere near my starter up. Uh, this game anyways, we're at the very beginning. At, I would say, um, on this rock. This is the, when I first got this game, this rock has been here. And it's always been here. So I use this rock as a starter guide. All the stuff you see I got, it did through... A few steps I'm going to show you to get to that, and that's all I'm going to show you. Just a starter guide. One to start out with. I don't know where I first. There's one of these paths um, I came from, but th this thing here makes a good guide. So when you come right from your point to this thing, you'll see it. The trail EG. I'm not sure. I think it's one of these. But anyways, I guess. A tip would is to kill these ants when they come and you get a good set of armor to start out with and it also helps you later to go into an ant hall. I mean these tips I'm not giving you to do everything I say but I would say step one is see this point right here. Um, you don't need a marker but if you write it down in your head or whatever I write everything down but you'll catch you can see it, your one of your labs right away and that's where you go there and use it to upgrade everything. I mean, uh, every item you put in there will give you science things. You need a thousand science to start off with, to um, build a good base. I mean, a base like this anyways, with a floor and all this. Um, I don't I know. use something to drink. Oh, okay, I gotta get a drink. I, I would say the only thing I really complained about this game was the, the death point of you dying all the time um, due to water is a really hard source. You can look up and find them, but it's really a, somewhat of a pain in the ass. And it, it, as a guide, I mean, these are just point guides. From this leaf straight out, you can find a, um, a cart and see it right here to get drinks from. But all this stuff you'll pick up. I don't mark markers on some of these things because they're too easy just to remember and watch. Probably going to be nothing here. Oh, there is. See? That don't happen all the time. Everyone's in a great while. It looks like there's a little bit of science up there. Hmm. I did not never know that. 
But anyways, what I'm gonna get at now, this is not really part of the game, what I'm trying to show you. If I can get up here. Mm. There's gotta be a way on one of these leaves or something to get up here. Find an angle of leaf you can get up there, but I haven't found a good... Oh, look at there's some water in the leaf. That's what I was looking for. Look for them. Kind of watch for the bugs, though, because there's sometimes a ball. Where did he go? Oh, there it is. Okay, see, now I'm full of water. And you find mushrooms by the mushrooms to eat all the time. Right here. Oh. You don't like them, but... Worse it... than my mom's Brussels sprouts. Okay, so it's falling up. What do I hear? Oh, a boss. See, these guys are a pain in the ass, and they spawned here for some reason. Now I don't understand why. I'm, I'm wondering if you could use this as a guide, but you really should pick a ball right away for that reason. I am trying to get up there to get that, but I'm not sure if I can. If I think if you get on the Jump just right, you can get up there. On these leaves. But you gotta jump just right. There, I'm on the lead. There. But it doesn't look like it's leading me up there. Maybe keep climbing. Oh. There. What crouch? Oh. Wow, it's quite a jumping beat. That looks like it's a little too high. I might be able to go this way and jump. Ha! <laughs> little, little things you figure out as you play this game, but this is not. Ah, see, that's what burns you every time. So, if you miss it, you just gotta keep doing it. Anyways, I'll remember where that is. I'll get it later. Up here, he's somewhere around here now, all the time. Yeah, he's trying to get me again. These guys are a pain in the butt. It's, they started spawning because I took too long um, over here on the base, and they can hit you through it. You really need to make a bow as soon as possible so you can shoot the pricks. But okay, so you, um, I, um, you will see a marker. Great. Look at okay. I got a marker in my base. You just make a marker and you can pick a color and a symbol. Oh, that's my base house. is orange. The purple symbol I used for the main science lab I found. See, after you activate this, which you'll figure the steps out. It's very easy. It'll show a laser and you got to go to fix a broken laser by cutting these down and going and killing these red bugs, which give you some good upgrades. But the whole th reason why I'm telling you that each step and marker will help you help you get back to your base and guide you. Uh, you this is a must. Before you leave, make sure you have this at least, even if you don't have a base. And you can't put it here because you got to have the green stuff on here. So if you haven't glitched out, got the floors. The floors, to get them, you activate this at step one. Activate this, and that's part of your quest. Anyways, step two is to go to this lab and and talk to this guy. Um, I will tell you another t trick. It, not, gotta hear him somewhere. Not this water, but somewhere around here is a deep water you jump in. I don't know, it's out here somewhere. I mean, it, it's really deep. You'll know when you see it. You just, it's nearby. Swim down in it, and you get some science from that one little thing. Yeah, there it is. That deep water there. We'll give you some science. And see it's right near your base get that science and and then and everything you find and collect you build go to that lab oh whoops ah shit see that is why i hate that part but that's why i don't really care to build this here but go to your and the reason why i had to do that and build this awful stupid thing they'll come up and attack me so i had to build a wall here so this kind of build this wall to protect me so they can't get in here because they break the wall down and yes the beetle bugs are the worst they can 
bust that down in a few minutes. But, um, anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm trying to tell you. Oh, yeah. So, you run to this lab each time, which is this marker right here, this black little marker on this box. I, um, we buy that terrain. But, anyways, you can see your lab. Go there and level up here. All your items. You and, and you look on here in the top corner. See, I got Perry Top RS. That's raw science. I only got 280. I had a thousand. I went and leveled up the floors first so I can build my base. That's the two keys. The next step will be try to get better armor. Which when you're over there at the one area, you get this acorn armor. In say which not, you bring it back and collect all that the acorn armor. You gotta have a hammer to break it. You'll figure that out. You can't break it with an axe, so you have to have a, build a hammer, which you can get on here and build your items. The uh, the pebble, pebblet hammer. I had this club, but it broke already. I could probably do it again if I really want it. Yeah, maybe I better build it. What? I don't. I don't understand this thing because usually it shows them build it, but watch. Uh, since I've been playing this game, it's been glitching and it moves your shit. No matter what you do, I don't understand why they didn't fix this in the game. There's a few things I really don't like about the game. It's, it's been doing since the beginning of the game. Or maybe just started in this one. I don't know. I'm old and grumpy. I can't remember everything. But see, you click on these. It says unauthorized. They're red anyways. But that's how you tell if you scan everything. Except for your weapons won't show. Or armor won't show on the analyzer and give you science. But see, in the box, here's something I can scan. Three items you can scan each day. So, we'll just do that to show you that. My box is my view. Them flies used to give you something, but now all they give you is meat. They're useless. They, but way back, you kill them, and there was something you can do with them besides eat their fucking... Excuse me, eat their... I don't know why I swear on but... Anyways, I, yeah. If you want to go into tab, use tab as your, that's my best, best inventory quick key because it's on your finger. Is up here, you click on these, say you can craft, and you go on to inventory and it'll go to tab every time to your inventory. Which is very easy to figure out. I don't know why I'm showing you. Oh, you hear that? Oh, that's the little cute little ladybug. He's actually cute. I mean, I don't know. You can kill him. You can get on his back and ride him. It's just stupid. Some of the stuff I don't care for, like the upgrades of animals, that's just stupid, but whatever. See, you only can do about three, and then you run out. And then you just keep hitting space bar and analyze the next thing. You do three of them. Hmm. Last one. I'm gonna analyze the crap out of everything just to get to that. It's a little bit of a pain, but your mouse button does everything. Don't even bother trying to do it with the keys. It says keys, but use your mouse button to make your life easier than trying to use the keys that don't function even right half the time for some reason. I mean, they do on the game at play, and but there he is. He don't even attack you. He just sits there. He makes cute little noises. But I think you can make some good armor off of him. There's a spider hanging out somewhere around here. And oh my god, that freaked me out. I hit something that blew up. You make these band-aids, which are pretty easy like that. And if you want to go on crafting, go like, whoops. <laughs> go to medical. Okay, and these are easy to make. I just got to have sap. So you use a lot of sap, so click up a lot of sap as you go. They're always on sticks. But now that these bugs are hanging out, since I've been here for a while, they start hanging out, the meaner bugs. You really have to watch for them. And a big spider. God, that spider's freaking tough. And I, I will show you one trick. I'm, I don't know why I can go through here, but it, you can. Uh, it didn't go solid, and it seems like nothing else does. The ants try to bug you all the time, so they'll pile up. Pile up along this wall and try to come in. I've been killing them as you go because you get something for kill. At least my one friend told me. Uh, death is always near. Is his game site? He does videos, but I don't think he does very many. But he's a good gamer. But um, he's my son. <laughs> but anyways, see, I 
put a few sap in there. I ain't done yet. Take some stuff. If I'm in your inventory, I carry about 10 of everything. Not all the time, but inventory is good to know is the inventory. Yeah, look, you got these. These make rope, so I always go in here and, the, and craft some rope. Now, if I want to look at my inventory, I can go on that. See, I got rid of all of them already. I mean, there's the rope I've been carrying around. I'd rather carry the rope than them, but you can always keep a lot of rope with you because it fixes everything in a pebble or something or some rocks. I don't know. I got ooh, seven, but an ex extra green or these I care get all the time. See, I got that many. I don't really need as many, but I throw them there, but whatever. Oh, I forgot to put these back. Uh, rock box. Bug box. I don't know. It's not organized very well. I actually got this ass over him, but I think you get it from other bugs, too. Leaves, whatever. I don't know where to put them. They go with these. Uh, orange. So I guess they go in this room. Let's move you down to the bug row. Over here. Okay. These are kind of with the bugs, too, but whatever. Okay. There's food. I can put them in there. Right, you gotta you make this ant armor to go in the hole, so that's a good tip. Um, I don't know what I needed to make the last piece of the armor, but that's a tip if you want to want to write that down as going down that ant hole without the army ants attacking you. Huh, grub gargles. Huh. But the acorn's better armor as far as protection wise. Yeah, I need two of them. And it's one of those acid bugs, so I really need to kill another one of those dumb acid bugs that come around here. So it's really good they do. But I haven't made a bow yet, so good time is. I'm only gonna do this for another 15 minutes. I said quick guide, and then I'm gonna get off. I'm just showing you the game. The basic startup. But remember always all the checkpoints when you talk to the robot. There's a warning, there's a well, I didn't put my club in my hand. See? It glitched. Why didn't the club show? See, where's that club? This game. There, I can take out a stupid view of it, but why didn't it show? Build it. Okay, now I probably can't make it. But you don't have to have the stuff in your inventory to make it. I just found this out. Now watch. See, he won't. There. He doesn't use his hand to craft it. It does not make sense. He's done that every time. But sometimes this game glitches out and he doesn't do the motion of crafting like he should. He's supposed to, to use his hands crafting and you'll see him and it'll make a noise. But sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if it's a glitch or something they never fixed. Yeah, that's stupid. Well, like I said, um, uh, I want to make a boat. That's what I was going to do. To it show you, I need one more acid thing to do. The one thing the map shows you areas you visited already, I guess. Oh no, these are points you can see. And since I discovered that, it's showing a field station there. What? No, it's only showing my main field station. Why is it not showing my marker? Oh, wow, that's weird. It's not showing my ice caps. What the hell? So is that for, oh, I don't know. Whatever. Um, okay, I just got to go see if I can make a ball. See, the water is a pain in the ass, so, I mean, all the experience I had. So you can get up on this rock without any of this stuff, and this is always the first place I build. I don't know. I don't know if it keeps the bug off, or it seems like nothing can get me up here when I don't even have the walls, so I build my base like this. Oh, and this is new. I like this thing. I don't know if it's... Oh, it's got them. Wow, it's done. Um, I can go and... Can I put this in raw science? Oh, I gotta look, see, first. Inventory. Yep, it says I can go put it in. So let's... Uh, I should scan that before I make a bow. Let's just see what we can make with it, and I'll do that. I just can't build it, then I can't scan it. Once you build it, 
you can't scan the item, and I went through all science for you. But, no weapon tree, idiot. Now, I want to make this canteen. I, it's good for some points when you get a lot of water. I can't remember. But it doesn't carry very much. Some of this stuff is kind of, I would say good, but kind of useless. Maybe I just don't remember. It might work pretty well at certain points. Uh, insect thing. I got the whip. Oh, and see, I have to have two of these, and these bosses, I don't understand why they make this so hard. So I can't make that bow right now. So let's just put the whip away and scan just one. And my weapon crafting shit's here with my armor. I don't know why my food's here or these acorns don't belong. Oh well, maybe I'll leave them here. They're kind of armor weapon. Okay, then you just kind of right click to drop them in there. Keep one to scan. I need more stuff to scan, but even if I can scan one, but I don't know if I can yet. I could go see, but I doubt if I can because I just did that. So, I don't know how fast this stuff respawns. Oh, there's a dark area. It's starting to get dark. Oh, it's you. Holy crap, the noise it makes is so funny. Oh, wow! I mean, I didn't know it built it up that fast. Wow, if I had more, I could do more. Science. I don't have any more, so let's escape. And to see it, remember, just hit tab to your finger and look up in. Uh, yeah, see, I got 360 now. See, I'm really up, going up on that. If I can, I'll look for water before I go to sleep, but... And I still gotta go get that one raw science on that box, but I won't do it till morning. I'll get water first. This game, I gave it a... I, I had a friend that quit, and I, I'm, I'm trying to... I might try to go over it with them and help them and make it rebuy them the game. I bought them the game to play with me, and, but when you play with somebody, the problem with multiplayer on this game and this is a point I want people to know. Multiplayer doesn't work very well in this game because one, the developer seems to think it's a good idea for you to lose your backpack when you die. I don't understand what the what it matters if you lose it or not. Dying alone seems to me to be a punishment. I mean, people say, well, that you're being a baby, but, but, oh, there's some water over there. But the whole thing is, is, is when you play with somebody, they do stuff differently than you. There may not be experience, or they might even be better than you. But what happens no water if you die, tablets needed. or if they die, you gotta babysit them. You gotta constantly go back, and seriously go back and get their stuff. And now that they made this new map, it's kinda destroyed that idea. The old map worked fine, but this new map, there's a hole you fall into that is full of spiders. I mean, I'm sure you probably could kill him if you have this armor on and maybe a really good weapon at the time you go in that hole. If, or if you drop down in the hole. I would say I, I drop down in it. You, I think you could fall in it too, but I could be wrong. Maybe you have to drop down in it because there's sides in it, so it lures you in there to get it. And then you find out you're trapped, which is a dirty trick. I think they added in the game, in the new maps, they added some stuff that's kind of dirty. And that's just the way they go as you know. But, and to make them harder, trying to make it harder, but I don't understand that idea at all. Just to piss somebody off, give them anger or aggression, I guess. But, which I'm against in developing games that way. But anyways, um, that's about it. I gotta make a bow, and I gotta sleep and go get that raw science. I'm gonna get off this game here in one second. When I sleep, I, I will quit the game, but... It's just a quick guide to let you know to mark, use use all your markers. If you won't, if you if you write it down, I know it sounds stupid, but me, I'm old. I forget things, so I I got a basic guide. If you go into Google's Docs, it's called. It's in there. Every time you go on Google, Google, go to the icon symbol. You'll see the little dot markers. Click on that and Docs. Not everybody knows about it. My son told me about it because they learned it in school. But if you go in there, I'll start this fire. If you go in there, you can type down a short, quick guide 
So every time you play a game, you go in there and you just make a list. Go on list, and li um, have them all on a list. Click the icon to make them all listed. So you can just look at the name of each one. And I named this one. Um, it's a basic gu guide to this game. And then I go in there and I read just the basic guide before I play it again. Because if it sits for several months to a year, I hadn't played this three years because when they build these games, it's not like they used to build games. You got a complete game when you bought a disc or something, which I, for one, love the old days. But the, I love the idea of flawless games now online where they fix them, get them working to the point. Sometimes you got a disc back in the old days. Some of the discs had bugs that never were totally fixed, but you could still play the game. They never had them where you couldn't play them. These companies have games sitting for years and years. They build that you're waiting on. You could be five years. You could die waiting for a game. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a joke. But the whole thing is, is yeah. Well, let's just look for that bow again. What do I need for it? Uh, I can make it. Yeah, I got a bow. Okay, now stupid arrows. Oh yeah, and thorns. I needed them thorns, and I used them to make something else. And that dumb stuff down there. Do I have any of them left? Oh, I think I do have some. Or or no, no, I have, and to get them, you should go all the way to that tree, and that's part of your quest, you should already have a mark down as a marker, see, I got it, it's that purple one, my bed's got a ghost on it, I, they put that marker, I just left it on there, but anyways, you go all the way there to that base, and I'll tell you this tip before I quit, oh, there's another water, huh, maybe I'll go get it, but you go there as a tip, you go there, build a bed right in front of the building when you go to that first lab on your quest. When a building explodes, you'll see purple stuff coming over. That's why I got that color purple. And it, it goes away, so you want to mar put a marker right at the front door, right at the side of the front door. Put your bed right at the front door, because you're going to want to sleep there. Because um, and cause at night, the spider comes out. There's a tip to this, though. It's happened to me twice since I've had the game. I don't know if they're ever going to... I hope they never fix it because I shouldn't even post it because I'll probably take it out. But if you build a bed, the spider um, will try to come get you. He'll get caught in the leaf that's bent down there, which has been in the somewhat in the beginning of the game. I killed a wolf spider. That's how I got this cool thing, this wolf spider thing on the right and that body in this. And, well, this I got from the yellow spider. And how I got that gives you venom for arrows. But how I got that was the yellow spider saw me killing the wolf spider. And I had a club. I used that this one wheat club. It works. They won't. They get caught in there. He got came after me. I jumped back inside the lab. And then I killed him at the door with a club. He got caught from the bed. I had my bed. It looks like this in the front door. Get it? Don't, don't make it so you can't get out. You should be able to jump over it anyways. But... He'll get caught on it. You kill the yellow spider, you get some stuff. Then go back and finish killing the wolf spider, and you get this. They're harder than hell to get to make that one good, the best bow you need. But over there, be, not at the base, but out by the edge of the water, there's a rock, um, rock there to the right. Don't go to the wall. There's a lot of spiders, but you'll see some these. You'll see these pad, lily pads. Pick them up for something I can't remember and I don't care but there's thorns or get them right away as many as you can get if you have to parkour you can get in all of them but go back there try to keep an empty inventory but um, don't leave it full and go there and do that oh I already I gotta put this away put you in here for my bow there but anyways parkour and get all the thorns and then you got arrows so this helps you a lot when you're fighting boss ones and they get at the edge. You can shoot the shit out of them, weaken them. But anyways, this is the end of the video. I'm, I wanted to make it quick. Just give people points, guides, and tips that will help them in all their games. And this is the, the tips and guides I give you from my, my YouTube video. I wish more YouTubers would just do this and help people and give them a lot of better tips than just playing the dumb game and showing you it. But anyways, um, I made my bow. I have to go and get them. And this is Gaming Grump signing out on YouTube after I sleep. Of course, I'll sleep. Space mm. bar. Yep, I think it's my, bedtime. You gotta, you, it's got to be uh, whatever, 20 some t hour time to sleep. Sleeping will, will slow though. 
It seems like you, you lose some food and water, but you really don't. It slows it down to a point to where you still have some. Is that water drop still over there? I saw it on the rock. I slept and didn't get it, so I have to get another one. Oh, that's a bummer. That dumb design. This is kind of a dumb design. But anyways, I'm going to sign out on this video game. And how am I going to do this? It's going to be stupid because I'm going to continue playing from here. I'm just not going to show you at all because I, I don't want to make these videos long. So I'm going to go on my thing. I'm going to get off from this right now. I'm wondering how long this time is running. I'll probably save it and get off to show you. That's probably what I'll do instead of doing it this way let's just let's just say quit here I think the sleep saves but I'll do it again I'll just stay here and save it save game and I oh it did save it but I don't know if I like the point it saved I'd rather uh, ah it did save it so we're just gonna quit quit yes and stop the recording. Whoops, I gotta stop recording. I could have did that in the first place. Yeah, this is why I, I'm here. inexperienced, but whatever. Okay, to say stop recording. Well, this is Gaming Grump signing out and hope this helps somebody in their game. You have a nice day. Thank you for watching my video.